Savannah College of Art and Design is the top women's seed in this tournament and showed it tonight with a 24-3 victory over Benedictine College of Kansas. Our team is really heavy on doing everything as a unit and as a family. So that's the important thing is that we're communicating on and off the field. On the field, eight women's and eight men's teams from across the country are competing in the inaugural National Association of Intercollegiate Athletics, or NAIA, lacrosse championships in a sport that's on the rise. It's, it's I think, the fastest growing sport in the country at this time. We've seen that uh, at the high school level. We're seeing it now in the NAI. We jumped, uh, I think, over 50% 50, 50 within the last five years or so. Visit Greenville SC is rolling out the red carpet for players, coaches, and fans of the teams, and local hotels and restaurants are feeling the benefits. So we're looking at probably right around a thousand room nights just for the teams. Um, and then we have another additional 200 to and above um, for spectators and guests traveling with them. Um, so we're probably looking at around the 600,000 mark for economic impact for this year. The men will take the field tomorrow with men and women's semifinals on Friday and the champions crowned on Saturday. You know, we're feeling good. We like it. And you like your chances? Um, really liking our chances. The tournament has already made a two-year commitment to Greenville, and judging by the early positive reviews, there may be more lacrosse in the future for here. John Lyon, WYFF News 4, Greenville.